Now your local forecast from meteorologist Sarah Robleski and the Fox 25 Storm Tracker Weather Team. Good afternoon. We are tracking some showers and storms developing across the region. We've also got some milder air in Boston, but really warm conditions out through western parts of the state. You can see the difference in temperatures from the 60s and 70s along the coast to the upper 70s, 80s, even 90s to the west. But here we are. We're seeing some of those scattered showers develop. And it's all because of a weather boundary. And you can really see it with that wind off of the water keeping things cooler, that marine air across our eastern areas. But with the wind still out of the south, uh, that we're dealing with that humidity and that heat. And that's really what's fueling some of these afternoon showers and storms. We're going to continue to track these showers through the afternoon as some of them will be producing some very heavy downpours. Best chances will be through the interior as highs today cooler than yesterday, 70s and 80s, looking as though we should stay mostly dry for parts of the Cape today. As we take a look at those weather threats, main threat, heavy rain, could see some localized flooding. Would not be surprised to see some damaging wind gusts as well. Even some small hail could be reported with any thunderstorms that do develop. The reason why we're talking about the heavy rain is because the dew points are so high it's so humid out there, and that trend is actually going to continue over the next several days. So that's why we have the chances of showers and storms redeveloping once again on Friday and on Saturday. Kevin Lomanowitz is going to be timing out those showers and storms on the Fox 25 News at 4.